What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk Nugent. We are back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about StreamYard's update. Yes, 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 StreamYard's at it again. I had actually planned to do a different video. I wanted to do a different video. Uh, but the long awaited promise has been made good on, right? And so I had to do this video this week. I gotta kick back whatever it is I had on my content schedule, it's gotta go. In this video, we're gonna dive into the major feature that StreamYard has just released and some of the implications of what that's gonna mean for producers, for live streamers, for people who love and hate StreamYard all over the world. So let's dive into it and let's figure out how it all works. How, how, how it all works. Come on. So it is <laughs> February, uh, the February 2020 update from StreamYard during the town hall this past Sunday, they said, we're going to roll out local video playback. And, I, and probably by the time we finish this video, we're not going to call it local video playback anymore because, well, it, it, it really is more of a shared video, local video share or local video play, whatever. But let's, let's take a look um, in StreamYard right now. So here we are in StreamYard. Um, I'm gonna go into my test room. You know, he, anybody who's been following along, you know that this is where I go. So in the test room, we're gonna pull through, pull up uh, my camera, and uh, I guess I can leave that on. Uh, we're definitely gonna mute it. Entering the studio. So now I'm in, and my other computer behind my over my shoulder here is already in the studio. So that's why you're seeing two videos there. I'm gonna just gonna put them both on screen. Just just gonna throw them both on screen. Let's. Flat foot flop those two videos real quick. And so, you know, no, no big change here. Let me just kind of recap some of uh, some one or two other little things that they have given us. Number one, if you haven't heard me say this before, it, as a producer on the pro plan, okay, if you have the pro plan, you can have up to 12 people in the studio, 10 people on screen, but 12 people in the studio. Another thing I want to show you is, um, automatically share screens and videos to stream. Now, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the, over the question mark and you know that this is where they kind of give you a little more information. We've been talking about, you know, when you share your screen as the host, right? As the host, when you share your screen, it just pops right into the, to the live stream. Uh, so you have to, a lot of us learned the hard way, that you have to share your screen before you go live so that you can actually take it off of the screen and have it down on the bottom ready to go and queued up essentially. Um, with this feature, you can actually turn that off. So it says there, when you share a screen or video, we'll automatically add it to the stream. Disable this if you want to queue up a shared screen, right, without showing it right away. So this is just for the host. So it says there, it goes on to say, this doesn't affect guests. So keep that in mind. Guest screens are never automatic, never added automatically. So keep that in mind. Guests, this feature is not gonna affect them, but for us as hosts, producers, this feature is great. So I, I keep that unchecked so that it can queue up. And the reason why I'm showing this in conjunction with local video playback is that you can see that this has just been added. This one word here has been added, videos. This used to say automatically add shared screens to stream. Now they've added slash videos. And so that's what I mean when I say we're kind of going to change this terminology from local video playback to shared videos, right? So you have shared screens and they've built on top of it to have at, to, to add to you the, to the system shared videos. Uh, I was talking with a friend this morning and I was like, man, what do you think about that update? And he was like, well, I haven't seen it yet. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, when I go into brand right now, um, I don't have, you know, the increased videos. I, I can I can only play uh, the same um, stuff that we had before, 200 meg file size, 10 minute videos. I was like, oh no, it's not, it's not under brand. <laughs> it's not under brand, guys. It's not under video clips. These are overlays and they will continue to function just the same way they always have. So keep that in mind. This is shared videos. Just the way that you would work with a shared screen, you're gonna, you're gonna need to work with a shared video. So this section, nothing has changed here. In the brand tab, banners, comments, nothing has changed here. I just went to here to show you that one settings change there, but other than that, nothing has changed here. So 
without any further ado, we're finally at the main event, <laughs> five minutes into the video, and that is down here on the bottom. This section right here, you see where it says share. So I'm gonna click that and, and there you have the magic. See before all we had was share screen and now we have video file, shared videos. Um, share screen, we know that process we would share and I, I kind of went through an, another video where you can use Google Chrome as a video player and that essentially gave you local video playback. But here, this setting, what StreamYard has done has really enabled us to really have local video playback. So when I go to video file, You'll see that that comes up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this uh, this mug mug club video. <laughs> um, I finally got my eCam mug, and and this was me going live. So this is a 1.35 gigabyte video file. It's an MP4. Although it's an MP4, um, you can play MOVs as well. I want you to know that that this is you can also play MOVs. So keep that in mind. We can you can not only play MP4s, but you can also play MOVs. Uh, so Mug Club is the video I'm going to use. I'm going to hit the space bar on it just so you can see that this is a 30-minute video, 30 minutes and 52 seconds. It's a 30-minute video, 30 minutes. That is well above the, the, the time limit, also well above the size limit for StreamYard, and this is what's great. So now I'm selecting this video. I click Open, and it pops in at the bottom. You see that down there at the bottom? right down here nice and ready to play it's it's just sitting there it's waiting and again if i did not have this checkbox checked it would have just shared right into the stream so you want to make sure you that's why i showed these functions together i know it may seem like why didn't he just get to it but i wanted to show these together because if you don't have this checked, it will automatically just share it directly into the stream. Um, so for me, it comes in at the bottom and it's queued up and it's ready to go. So what does it look like when it's played? Remember I said this is like sharing a screen. So the, the layouts underneath the, your main window here that, that are going to work for you are these three layouts. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's, those are the layouts that are going to work for you. So before you share your screen you want to click on one of these before you share the video you want to click on one of these so that when you add it it knows what's to what to do and there it is it's added it's now playing through the system um i i'm pretty certain you cannot hear the video but that's okay I went live with this earlier and I saw how it worked and it, 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 it the audio is good. The video is clean. It's, there's no glitches. I um, was very happy with, with it. So I'm going to um, just turn off my camera here and want to give some focus to what's happening on the screen. Uh, I want you to notice that down here on the video itself, I know it's small. Uh, you have the ability to turn the volume up and down on your video. That is great. Okay. Um, th for those that know about this mode in, 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 in Restream and some other platforms that where you can play local video playback, this is something that some of those even don't have. So I'm glad that StreamYard decided to level this thing up. So that's so cool. You also have the ability to pause it. So you can see that it's paused right now. I can go ahead and play it again. But you also have the ability, if you put your mouse right if right above that pause button, you'll see that the little, a little white circle appears and it's giving you the time frame. I can actually scrub. I can scrub in this video to different points and let it go and let it play. So you have the ability to turn up the volume on your video. You have the ability to pause it and play it. You also have the ability to scrub to different points. Um, if you're just showing an example, you want to pull a video in, it's not necessarily edited just to show on your live stream. You want to pull it in and then just scrub to the place where you want to be. This is what you can do to do that. And so that's really, really, really cool uh, to be able to do that. But I want, also want to show you something. I don't know if you've noticed it. Uh, you Maybe you did, but you also have all those features on screen right here. All those features right here on screen. You have the, the, the volume button. I can mute it right here. I can turn the volume up and down, but I can also scrub right here on screen. I can scrub on screen. I can also hit the pause button on screen. Um, another thing that you can do is you can change your layout. So I can actually have the video take over the full screen, which is great. Um, I can change it back to this one where I've got the two videos on the side. But then I can also do the cropped look. So the primary camera is here. Let me turn my camera back on. 
and your primary camera is here and then you've got the video and the video is still playing. And I still have all those controls and features even in this mode. So just like I said, think of it as a shared screen, but it's a video. And that's why they added it right here under the share button because it's pulling directly from your system and is bringing it in. And I mean, it's clean. I, I got to tell you, man, it is clean. I mean, I I am excited about about what they've done here with, with this setup. Um, the other thing that I, I want to show you if you did not. So I'm going to remove this from the stream right now. Now, let me pause here. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. If when I remove this from the stream, notice what happens. So I removed it. The other video comes back. I can go back to this mode, but notice, I don't know if you can see it as clearly, but this video is, has actually paused right where I removed it. And if I add it back to the stream, um, let me pull it, pull this, this, uh, this, this video back up, If I add it back to the stream. It continues playing at the exact same place where I removed, you know, so when I removed it, it pauses the video. When I bring it back into the stream, it starts playing right at that same point. So it doesn't go back to the beginning. It doesn't miss that section. If you had it off screen for 20 seconds or whatever, it picks right back up from the point where you removed it from the stream. So keep that in mind as well. So you remove it, it pauses, add it back. It, it's continuing to play. So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to go to one of these other layouts. Remember I said, man, you really want to click one of these before you add your video to the stream. This is what happens when you add it to the stream. It's going to automatically push it over to one of these other layouts. But you, if, if that's not the layout that you want, you kind of need to pre-stage it. You don't, you don't want it to just come in and take over. Of course, you do have the ability to add it to the stream and then go full screen with it. Right. Just by clicking solo layout, full screen layout for your video. Um, you can also change that over here as well. You have those options. Just think of it as a shared screen, folks. Think of it as a shared screen. One of the things I also like is that in full screen mode, right? This is full screen mode for StreamYard. I can still uh, uh, scrub. I can take it back and forth. I can click the play button. Um, I can adjust my audio, all that stuff on screen. And here's the thing that you want to know here. This is not visible to people who are watching your stream. I did the test already. So you, I, there's no way for me to prove that right now, but I did the test already. Did a private live stream on my YouTube channel, brought this thing in, played a video through went through scrub back and forth, did my audio stuff, paused the video, played it, played the video. All of those functions and features worked, but it was seamless to the end viewer. So this whole bar at the bottom, this blue bar and this, uh, you know, scrub, you know, being able to, to go to different timestamps in your video, all of that stuff was able to be done without the end user seeing it. So that's a good, clean video, good, clean view uh, of what you are doing. And and listen, this is this is a great feature and it's overdue. We're so excited that StreamYard has finally brought it to us. So kudos to them for delivering on it and not only delivering on it, bringing it in in a way that makes sense in the StreamYard landscape, that makes sense in the StreamYard ecosystem, um, in our general flow as producers who are who, people who do their own live streams for themselves, people who are doing their live streams for others. This is this is a this is right in step with how we have been doing this. I was thinking to myself, man, if they bring that video play thing under the overlays or under the video section, it's going to really shift my flow. But here we have an opportunity to bring it in as a shared screen, which means it kind of flips the way that things happen. It is not a camera. I want to make sure you know that, but the, the ability to adjust your audio on that video, the ability to scrub and the ability to start and stop that video, even from just removing it from the screen and bringing it back in is great. So again, kudos to StreamYard for rolling out a really great feature. So there you have it. <laughs> I, I mean, literally, I have been in the town hall week after week asking for this very feature. Um, and I'm pretty certain they got tired of me. In fact, a lot of times uh, over the last week or so, they said they just didn't even bother to respond. But they gave us they gave us what they promised. Um, took a little longer than they intended. I, I can only imagine what it has to be like to be able to deliver on a function or feature like this one, uh, to be able to pull local video from the um, local machine and play it into the stream. 
um, that with no latency, with no chopping, you know, to make that experience a good one, it's going to be tough, especially when we consider we haven't installed StreamYard on our computer, right? So this is a web browser. This is a cloud-based platform. That is, I, I just hope that people are catching this. This is not a small feat, a cloud-based platform that is playing a local video from your system into the stream and playing it in a way that's smooth and, 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 and allows your audience to not only hear it well, but it gives you as the producer the control to be able to turn it down, start, stop, take it off the screen, bring it back on the screen. This, it, you scrub to different points in the video. This was masterfully done. Kudos to StreamYard. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm critical of them when I think there should be a feature that should be added, but I have to give them their due when they add something and they do it in a way that really works with the ecosystem. Thank you so much, StreamYard. Man, listen, I'm hoping that you guys are getting value from the channel, hoping that you are getting value from um, <laughs> these videos. Listen, I, I have on my StreamYard gear today. Uh, StreamYard sent me a gift certificate of $100. I'm in this group. It's a StreamYard VIP group on Facebook, which is so cool that I'm in there and we get advanced notice of several things. So I kind of had an idea that this was coming and I'm so excited uh, to have this on, but I want to tell you that, man, how it all works is launch their own merch. And so I want to make sure that you are taking advantage of that. I'm going to put the link right here in the video, uh, howitallworks.com slash shop. Come check us out. Also want to make sure that you know about buymeacoffee.com slash Kirk R. BMAC for short. This is a platform that you can go on and grab some gadgets. You can help to support us. You can do all kinds of things on this platform. I'm, I'm saying that because I want you to go there. Don't want to explain all the stuff that's there. Different posts, different content, um, also some extras, some some benefits of membership, as we say. So, so go ahead and check that out as well. I, I cannot thank you guys enough, the audience for this channel, how it all works. You guys have been phenomenal. Um, you have given me such great feedback. You have pushed me uh, past my limits and I'm, I'm excited about this new space and this new place that we're in. Um, listen, it's been a great video. Uh, it's a great new feature. Hope that it put the light bulb on for you hope that you saw some of the pieces of the puzzle come together essentially what i'm saying is i hope that you figured out how it all works i will see you in the next video how, how, how it all works Oh.